My name is Kyle Christie, and I'm the coordinator of broadcasting, performance, and digital media. Think of us as brand building and content creation. That's kind of the best way to think about it. And I'm just going to bring up a screen here to share with you. So this is a post-grad certificate. It is eight months. It is super quick. And when I say eight months, that also accounts for the two student success weeks and your break between semesters. So really, you're only in this for seven months. It is super quick, but it is also very intense. In this program, you learn to shoot, edit, and perform on camera with confidence. You are required to have a degree or diploma to get into this program. And I should mention that if you or someone you know plans to apply for this, feel free to send along a resume or some kind of cover letter because we are seeing some students who maybe they have a degree in engineering or political science, but they've volunteered at the, or their uh, local radio station or they've worked in a marketing department. And that helps them in the application process when we are looking at those applications. We just want to see you have an interest in creating video content. Uh, and then we take you on this journey and teach you all of the skills you need to know. So let's go through some of those skills. So by the end of this very quick program, students are able to shoot and edit high quality video. Live streaming is something we recently introduced, which as you can imagine is huge, being able to live stream in a way that is high quality and appears like a television show, even though you're doing it um, live over the internet building a brand for yourself or someone else, and social media marketing, as well as starting your own business or working as an on-camera talent, whether it's hosting a show, anchoring a show, or podcasting. So the careers are big. We know that when you come to Conestoga or you come to Canada, your goal is to get a job. Selecting the right school and program is important, but you need a job. So just a couple of hours ago, I went through some of the job postings that we have available in the area, and I want to show those to you now. So when our students graduate, the jobs they can start applying for, and this is just a small sample, and many of these also go for our, our television program that Rochelle just spoke about as well, the two-year diploma program. But if you want to be a videographer or a video editor, work in a marketing department in, in the capacity of video, content creator, a big buzzword we're hearing all the time, uh, TV and podcast host, a production assistant. So those are the job titles that you would be searching for. And just within the last couple of hours, if you search videographer on Workopolis, which is a national job search site here in Canada, there's 65 current job openings just in our area that list videography as a job title or skill. That's working for, the first one up there is for a real estate company in Toronto. There's beauty companies that need people to create video content. There's freelance and contract jobs available, as well as people who are able to not only shoot, but write, edit, do a lot of the different things that you learn in this program. So that's just what's open right now in terms of jobs. Video Editor, the program that we teach um, students to use here is Premiere Pro. There's 90 current job openings in our area that list Premiere Pro in their job descriptions, and those are available right now. And that is uh, one of the main skills that you learn. In this program, you start editing in week one. As I mentioned, it is short. So we have our students editing in week one, week two, and then week three, we introduce the camera. So they're shooting and editing. And then every week after that, they shoot, they edit, they add in audio, they light, and they build on that so that by the time they graduate, they are able to walk into a workplace and start shooting and editing and creating high quality content or own their own business, build their own brand and do that for themselves. And then the other one that is just huge right now. So content creator, we hear that word a lot. What does it mean? It means a lot of different things, but being able to create video content is key right now. And there's over 300 current job openings in this area, listing content creator as a job title or skill. And if you have some time and want to search that up on Workopolis, you'll see that many of them are for social media. So there's small businesses, there's big businesses, there's nonprofits and charity organizations, they need someone to help them with their social media presence. And rather than just posting an image and a little bit of text, students from this program and also our TV program that Rochelle talked about are able to go in and create some great video content, maybe even be the face of that video content and post it to their uh, social platforms so that businesses are able to post consistently and build a following build a brand. So that's a big one as well. 
Uh, quickly, some student success stories and how this is working out for some other people. So this is Andrea Tablas, and she was with us two years ago, and she came to us as a teacher, but wanted to do something different. And she started a business called Fairy Tidy. So what she does is she goes into people's homes and she organizes their cupboards. She organizes their rooms. She finds systems for them. But what worked well for her was she started this in in the classroom, we worked together on building the website, getting the social platforms up and running, and she's able to create video tutorials for people on things that you never really thought about, like how to fold a fitted sheet before you put it away or how to properly make the bed, stuff like that. So she's using the skills, um, a video, uh, video and editing skills to help build her own brand. And she's working, um, in this business for herself that she created, going into people's homes and helping them get organized. Up next is Rudy Nuchtrin, who graduated from the two-year diploma program, the TV and independent production program, and then wanted to add in more of that performance factor. So he came into this one-year post-grad certificate program, and he did some freelancing right after graduation. And then this year, he started working full time as a digital content creator for a real estate brokerage here in Waterloo Region. So that's a permanent full time position. Natalie Makavora is just doing everything. She came into the program wanting to learn how to create some content and just be a part of the Canadian media landscape. And that is exactly what she's doing. You can see just to the right there, she's, uh, she's received a number of different contract, full-time contracts over the last couple of years for a variety of reality TV shows here in Canada, including Battle of the Blades, Big Brother, um, Last One Laughing, and Project Bakeover. So she's doing quite well. Guy just graduated from this program about eight weeks ago. And he has now left Canada, but is living in Florida with his family. And he will tell you that the reason he got this job in Florida is because of this program. He is so thankful for everything that he learned. He took every single thing that we taught him and is now doing it for a business in Florida. It's a Brazilian company that is based out of Florida, and he is creating content for them using every lesson. He was just one of those students that every day we would teach a lesson and he would take that lesson and turn it into reality for himself, which then led to this full-time job he has in Florida, which is amazing. And then this I just found was pretty interesting. So Ayo, who you see here in this photo, he's from Nigeria and he just graduated seven weeks ago. He recently did a little bit of a modeling gig for a local business and uh, going through the Globe and Mail just over the weekend, um, his photo ended up in the Globe and Mail, which is in one of our uh, national newspapers of him showing some 360 technology here. So I thought that was pretty cool too, just to see that a few months ago, you know, he was new to technology and wanted to work on some performance. And here he is in the Globe and Mail in this photo. It's as a model. It was a bit of a one-off, but it's pretty cool um, to see him doing that as well. So that's a look at the skills, some of the careers that are currently available and success stories. Again, it is a quick one, eight months, but it's intense. And our students themselves are blown away by how much they know and what they are able to create at the end of this program. And we're very proud of it. <music>